Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pixelmon from the Pixelmon Let's Go server. I just found a shiny condiment, as Floosmaker would say, Wait. also known as an Oddish. Guys. Um. Lil. Okay, never mind. I, I was worth a try, I sh sure. Let's, oh, that doesn't work, so I have to do soak first. Soak. Spore. Bag. Timer ball. There we go, and another shiny in our pocket. We're well on our way to have a full like every every Pokemon shiny roster thingy, it's not gonna happen. It's a joke, guys. It's jo the joke. Chlorophyll. Naughty nature. Growth small. Go. Cool. cool. Let's take him to our shiny spot, I guess. Currently sitting at a solid ten shinies. Well, guys, remember when I was sketching a shiny Oddish just like five seconds ago? Well, <clears throat> I found another shiny Oddish. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Um, fun fact, though, Oddish has the ability to both uh, evolve into a vile plume or in a blossom. So at this point, I kind of have the option to go both ways. So that's cool. Oddish. Or, you know, it's double. So. Meh. I'm gonna catch it, if you can understand that. Um, so I was on my way here to actually return a, a plate to Nebris. Because I still owe him from the two plates that he gave me for the Arceus that I never paid for. So I'm gonna be doing that right now. Uh, but yeah, I, I returned at least one of those plates. It was a splash plate. Uh, you're missing Fist and Icicle. Really? Yes. I feel like I've had like... Ten fists. But I, I guess not. You currently have zero, so... <laughs> I mean, it could be, I guess. Like, I don't know what you do with your fist plates, but... <laughs> <laughs> come, come see my, uh... Oh, no, it's not fist. <laughs> my apologies. I'm special. Oh. It's icicle and insect. Insect? Yes. You are correct that... Four fist plates! Yep. You were you were correct. So icicle, you can get those from an egg low. Yes. Oh, speaking of fists, <laughs> I'm missing a fist plate. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I just so happen to have many extras. Is there I'm anything um, that you need besides plates that I can Americans. trade you? <sighs> Stack of aluminum. Ooh, I can definitely do aluminum. Since you, I still owe you one, right? Yeah. So how do you say, like, I give you two uh, two red candies and a uh, uh, and a stack of aluminum, and you give me like the fist plate, and we call it even? Yeah, that works. Okay, I'm taking one fist plate, and I'm gonna rare items. Rare items. Well, you have a lot of rare candy. You also have four lustrous orbs. Are those rare? I mean, yeah, they're in the right chest, but well, you can find them in uh, end cities <laughs> with the same rarity as uh, master balls. Oh. Okay, we repaid our debt to Nebris. I leveled up Smurgle to 100, but I'm going to keep Haxorus on us, just in case we need an extra False Swiper. I'm going to take all these lads, and uh, we are going to do the things. Now, I'm bringing Master Balls along, just in case we need them, but I'm going to definitely try to use some Dust Balls first, because I really don't want to be caught off guard and anything. Uh, Smurgle, Smurgle, Smurgle is the best. Uh, he, he really isn't. 
So Smurgle is very good as in with the whole things and stuff, but as a Pokemon, it's not that strong. So I kind of hope that we can do enough of the things that we need to do. Uh, and we might need to heal him up a little bit here and there, unfortunately. So I'm going to be back with you when I reach the Zapdos Shrine, which is the first one we're going to. As you can see right there, to the, there, 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 there's the Moltres. And that's the Articuna Shrine we're probably going to visit. So it's, it's a little bit of a ring around the rosy, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, guys, we have arrived at the first shrine. So I guess we'll... Hmm. Now, do I want to force a certain nature on Septos? Because I could use one of my Abra to try and get that going. Let's do that. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. The 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 thing I'm I'm looking at currently kind of states either bold or well bold as primary, I guess. But I don't have that ever yet, and then timid as secondary. So I'm just gonna do the timid one uh, if I can find it. <laughs> Here, timid, and I think I'm gonna ditch Cobalion for now its lowest level so okay let's give this a go guys here we go Sapdos just spawned and I'll triple go Sapdos stroke free use discharge discharge Okay, a little confused. I was looking. I look. I'm looking up stuff on Bulbapedia, and discharge isn't one of the moves it learns apparently. So, a little bit, a little bit wonky, but there's a PP of 15. Does not do. Does not do recoil though. Um. Just charge again. That's two moves. Pluck. Sorry for that. Should probably get like a. Uh, interesting. Oh, I think I was looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at the po little Pokemon Let's Go. Pikachu shit. Then, yeah. Okay, Pollock has a PP of 20. Real pack twenty as well. Uh, okay, let's move to turn five. Drill pack six. Discharge. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that the last one is fine. Spore. Septos has fallen asleep. False swipe. Pluck spore. And time for balls. Timer ball. Woke up. Spore. Bag. Uh, 
that's our little Tag HP PP Survival Herb Smurgle Uh Timer Ball Oh this is some very referencing footage. One wiggle, two wiggle, three wiggle, four wiggle! <gasps> we did it! Electric chicken, is that a dance? Well, we got the first one. That's one down, two to go. Uh, F3A. For some reason, my chunk has all kinds of messed ups. But it's fine because we did it. Yeah, we did it. Now the question is, what kind of nature is it? And what's his last move? Thundershock. I don't think it used that one at once. <laughs> Obviously, oh, it's pressure. Uh, I thought the ability would be static. Well, that's fine. Quirky nature. Growth is small. Okay. Let's take it out. Okay. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, that's one down, and I'll see you at the next shrine. And welcome back. We are currently at the Fiery Soul Shrine and going in for another. Also, um, Timid is still the one that we want. Uh, it's the one that we want. Uh, so we're, yeah, we're going to just give this a go and, uh, you know, we'll see where it leads. Moltres. Exerting its pressure. Honestly, that was lucky again. What is that? Is that a golet? Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> we were doing things, right? Dusk ball. Ember. How oh, coins. Ember has 25 PP. Okay, choose a new poke to send out. Haxorus back. Dust. Oh, that's a timer bell, not a dust bell. Ember. Sunny day. Oh, sunny day. Has a PP of 5, and it changes the terrain, I believe. So, fire moves are now more effective. Uh, dusk ball. Sunny day again. No need for that, but you know, sun is already bright. Also, how well does sunny day work? Oh, during nighttime, I was gonna say, is this happening again? Well, at least you can see the fight happening very well now, and I totally miss what move it used. Yikers. Sunny day. That's a lot of sunny day, but they're gonna run out soon, I guess, so. Wing attack. Wing attack is 35 pp, so that's very good. What the heck? Cyber ball. Wing attack. Hurricane. It shouldn't learn Hurricane until level 92. How interesting. I don't know if that one actually does recoil. For 
for some reason I have a feeling it does, but I don't think it does. Confusing. Yeah, no, it's fine. We're good. Time to uh, to change tactics. Dusk ball. Why did I throw a dust ball? No idea. So false swipe. Might as well start false swiping. Leave uh the rest to uh our friend Smurgle. So we got a grand total of sixty seventy five PP. Spore. Time for ball. Okay, I'm just gonna throw a bunch of timer balls at it now, uh, for as long as I can, and then if it doesn't get in, I'll throw a master ball. It kept waking up, so not much I can do about it. Three wiggles? Four wiggles! Whew. That one gave me a little bit uh, little bit uh, of a scare there. Whew. We got the Moltres though. We got the Moltres. Here we go. Obviously at his pressure. Uh, oh, that's why Smurgle ran out of PP so fast. They get, they get pressure. Move set we already found out. It is timid. That's very good. That's very good. We uh, our timid Kadabra really did his job there, and it is runs in growth. Okay, let's take it out. Uh, just have a look, see doodle. Oh, okay. It looks pretty, pretty dope. Coolio. We got ourselves a Moltres. <laughs> well, time to go for our Takuno, the last one. I'll be back in a bit. And here we see the majestic floating dugon. Known for its unnatural habitat of being in midair whilst an aquatic animal. There's another one. Let's go! <laughs> Last but not least, we have Otsukuno. And, um, well, we, we didn't have to use the first two Master Balls, so I put them back in their box. I I don't know if I'll ever use them properly, because I've been doing well enough so far, but uh, eventually, probably, yeah. Let's hope that this one does not have pressure and Smurgle actually gets to use 15 times spool instead of like 7. Would be nice, but you know we'll never we'll we'll see. Yeah, no, it's pressure. I'm not surprised. Hello, Articuno. Uh, I have a dusk ball for you. <laughs> Articuno broke free and used powder snow. Okay, so powder snow is just a damaging type move. Has 25 PP. Haxorus. Ooh, ice is very effective against dragon, so it's probably not gonna last very long. Reflects. Um, don't really know what reflect does, honestly, but it's 20 PP. I think it just reflects damage. Uh, effects. It reflects the doubles user's defense when opponent damages the user with physical move. Five terms. Technically halves the damage done to them by physical moves. Uh, you read it. Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing scary. So far as I can see. Dusk ball? Is it turning day again? Oh, not this sh- Damn it! Oh, 
we get half the shrine back. Powder snow. Wait, what? Okay. I guess that works. Well, um... Okay. I can live with that. Articuno, summary, pressure, as we've seen. The other ones were agility and roost. Oh god, roost would have been horrible. <laughs> okay. Not a lot of damaging moves, though. A lot of PPs. So I could have lasted for like 70, 85 turns, uh, not counting sleep. Timid, it's the nature we want it, and speed and attack. Uh, pygmy, why are all my, my, my legendary birds small? Like this one is small, runs, and pygmy. Septos is small, Moltres, runt. Articuno pig me. And let's take it out. Oh yeah, that was that that one's tiny. That's so tiny. <laughs> well, I guess we just caught all three birds as promised it just took a long time for me to finally do it but we did it and we're currently at 17 legendaries out of 53 next up i think i'm gonna spend some time in a mega taiga to see if i can catch sekram and kirim um because they spawn there, and I haven't really been there and hung out there, so it's you know it's fun to see the pokes that spawn, etc. So we're just gonna try that next. What are the two particles under my hand? Are they like, what this is? I think it's because of my armor. Yeah, it definitely is. That's wonky. <laughs> but on the bright side, we didn't have to use any of our master balls, so. I this is really weird. I, I'm not used to using these camera movements. Um, so we still have four. I think... I was talking to Babs about this uh, after the end things. Um, Justin actually found the Master Ball on his third grotto ever on the server. So I'm kind of thinking... Um, because after that... Babs was like, "Oh my God, you're so lucky! I never get them." And then, and then he was, he was the, the sweetheart that he is. He gave that master ball to Babs. Now, obviously, we gave one master ball to Babs as well because we found it in the end city for her. Like I said uh, last episode. So, uh, and she mentioned that she was probably gonna gift that one to Justin. So I think one of the four master balls we'll give to Babs as well in order to make uh, the. Uh, uh, it's in order for her to give it to Justin so she can keep two. I think we're going to be nice about this. Because, you know, I, I'll still have three left over, right? And we're not done yet, so... That uh, seems about nice enough. We're only in the end to help her anyway, so might as well share the love, right? So I think I'm going to do that. Anyways, this is going to be the end of this episode. I'm, I hope you really enjoyed the triple threat catching action that we did. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Goodbye. Oh, guys, a little PS after episode. Uh, PS, yeah, postscriptum. Uh, while I was talking to Nebs for a while after I did a little bit uh, of recording with him, I found another shiny Redicate. I threw a ball at it, and it got into the ball. So, uh, yeah, it was not intentional. 
But I got two of them now, as well as two Oddishes. So, yeah, I think I might trade one of these Radicate. I don't even really like the way they look. Uh, for Oddish, it's different because they can grow up to be Gloom or Vileplume. Or, no, Vileplume or Blossom, so I kind of want them both, maybe. So, yeah. We, we got we got more shiny action going. Maybe somebody wants to trade. We'll see. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching again, and I'll catch you on the flip side.